What's up guys, we're back in uh, the GIPI, this is the Glen Inns Performance Institute, also known as my garage, this is where athletes are made. Uh, I'm here with Selby again, by the way Selby's in our bubble, that's why he's here. Selby lives alone, because he's pretty much super hard to live with. So he decided to make us his bubble, so he's allowed to drive here. He's allowed an hour here a day for quarantine exercise, but this, <laughs> this week it's been. So, today guys we're going to go over knees, uh, rear knee, lead knee, a switch knee and a walking knee. All right, so with my lead knee, I got two different ways to do it, just like I do with the push kick. Watch that video. Um, so we're gonna start with our rear knee. And if you guys want examples of great knees, obviously I recommend watching any tie. If you're watching kicks, uh, round kicks, like traditional round kicks or switch kicks, switch knees, push kicks, always watch the ties because they have a huge emphasis on that. And they're amazing at it. Uh, watching those guys kick and hip pads is always beautiful. So. We're gonna do a rear knee today, guys. I have a little, a couple of small adjustments I do with my knee. Um, I've never been a huge knee fighter. Big fan of throwing uh, punches and low kicks and stuff like that, but I'll always learn how to do it just in case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step into range. I start out of range with my hands up, and when I throw my knee, I still don't drop my arm like a lot of people do because I believe it's all in your hips, it's all in your momentum, and accuracy. If you pinpoint the cap your knee into the right position, you should be able to hurt somebody without it having to be at 100%. So you should be able to just step quite lightly and boom, and push your hips at the last second. So the motion that I do with my hips is that right at the last second when I throw my knee, so I really push my rear hip forwards. Personally, as I step, as I throw my knee, I turn my foot like this, like I would for a kick. Because when I do that, it opens my hips up and allows my hip to fully open up and push forwards like this. When I turn my foot straight, you can see my hip stays back a little bit here. When I turn my hip, I can push forwards a little bit further. I'm gonna point my toes, tuck my calf muscle into my hamstring, drive my hip forwards and keep my hands up. So out of range, I step in and hit with the point, okay? Uh, a lot of people do curve round with the side, their knee like this. Uh, Damien Alamos is one of them. He's uh, one of the first Franks to win the Lumpetti title. He's a freak, French guy. So I'm not gonna say it doesn't work because I've seen him destroy people with that style of knee. It's completely up to you. You can come straight in or around and curve. It's up to you. I come straight in. So guys, we're gonna go over a switch knee now. So a switch knee is always great if you've gone into range with some hands and you need to generate power with your knee. So a switch knee can be thrown from here out of range and I can switch my way in. Boom. Or it can also be thrown from here in range and I switch on the spot. Boom. All right, everything is identical to the rear leg. As I land on my, le on, my, on my right leg for me, boom, I pivot a little bit, I push my hip forwards, I point my toe, tuck my calf to my hamstring, and drive my knee like this. I keep my hands up the whole time because when I'm in knee range, I'm in punch range. And a lot of people just block the knee with their forearm. I've fought some Dutch fighters that as the knee comes, they go boom and stop it like this, and then they go bang, and they punch over the top because quite often they know that one hand is down like this. So they just go boom and disregard the knee. Or sometimes they just swing and time it beautifully. So it's easy to keep your hands up, it's safer. So I'm out of range, I'm gonna switch in. As I drag my leg back, I'm gonna push off it. Boom. And when it's done quickly, it looks like that quick hop two-step. If I'm in range, guys, I'm just gonna do the switch on the spot with my hands up. You can grab hold if you want to. A lot of people keep one hand up, boom, grab the shoulder. A lot of people clinch, boom, and throw the knee. It's entirely up to you. But the main things are, up on your toes, point your toe when you knee, make sure you hit with the point, push your hip forwards, keep your body nice and strong and nice and solid, engage your core. Also, when you do the switch, it isn't like this. I'm not switching my feet at the same time. It's not like a plyo lunge when I do this. It's a two-step motion. I drag my foot back to in line with my rear leg. And now I push forwards. And I put myself in southpaw. Puts my leg further back, which allows me to have more power. Boom. So I'm doing that really quickly. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but if you're close to someone, you hear them do a proper switch, you'll hear as their feet hit the mat. So guys, then we're going to go over the walking knee. 
So the switch knee is great, but a switch is very recognizable. A switch means a kick or a knee is coming. Obviously, you can fake it, but it's a very rec recognizable movement. So it's always nice to just step forward sometimes and make it hard to tell what's coming. Because if this is a walking knee, by the way, I just step forwards and do everything I just taught you, except you're just going to step forwards with your leg. I'm out of range. Boom. Now step back. Step, knee, back, back. The reason this one's so great is because I might not knee. Boom. I might punch. Boom. I might kick. I might step, he might step back, I might step twice. Boom, boom, and punch. The step is very hard to recognize what is actually coming. I can step, punch, then knee. Boom, boom. Okay, this is why I, pre this is why I prefer and also really like the uh, stepping knee because it gives me time to decide what I want to do. I might have to change from that knee. I might be out of, I might be out of range. I might step forwards as, a, a, intending on throwing the knee, but Selby steps back, so I just change it. Oh, and throw my kick or a push kick or step over and punch. Okay, this is why, well, that's, that's the beauty of a, of a stepping knee. So guys, that's how we throw the knee to attack. Defense is always good. It's another form of attack. There's lots of ways to avoid knees. Footwork, angles, those are the main ones. Uh, I had a fight with Reagan Ursel in 1FC, and he was a very, very good, strong knee fighter. I used a lot of angles to avoid his knees because they were horrendous. Uh, he actually got me with one and dropped me, got me in the liver. So I was using angles to avoid those. Another way to avoid it, which is what I'm going to teach today, which is very simple, is just pushing the chest. So I have a friend that you guys actually saw come on this video called Ong Man Put, also known as Sanchai or David Sanchai Ong. He's very good at pushing the chest and stopping a knee when he sees it coming. So he'll go into the pocket and engage. As he's in there engaging, he'll see the knee coming and go whoop and push the chest. And if I'm here and I go to throw a knee and so he pushes my chest, this happens. It just completely kills and nullifies the knee. So if someone comes in, to throw a combo, and then I'm trying to time my knee. So as Selby comes in, boom, 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 I'm trying to do this, land the knee in the middle, or throw a switch knee, I'm gonna throw a switch knee. As I throw my switch knee, he's just gonna push my chest. It just ruins my knee. Even if I step in to throw my knee, Selby can sort of step backwards and push my chest at the same time. And it will ruin my knee as well. Because a knee, as powerful and as painful as they are, they're short. Most people's are short. Some people's are long. But they should not be longer than your arm. I should be able to hold my knee out, put my arm out, and my arm should always outreach the knee, even when I push my hip forwards. So once I pull my chest away, like I do for the push kick, someone watch that video. When I push my chest away to avoid that push kick, I'm also going to push the chest. Like this. I can do it one-handed, two hands. It's up to you. Alrighty, guys. So, subscribe. Leave comments, notification bell, thumbs up. See you next time.